Welcome to paradise. No, that's really the name of the town. I didn't make that up. Anyway, I'm gonna do this uh, well water test here. I gotta use a blowtorch to uh, sanitize the end of the line. And then we're gonna let it run and then take a sample. Alright, we got a little bit of a puddle going here now, so I get to stand in the water puddle. I'm going to turn this down to a slow, steady flow. And I'm going to break the seal. It says very specifically not to put this on the ground ever. So it has not been on the ground, it came out of a paper bag in the truck. Now I'm going to just open it. And there's little pellets inside. They say not to take those out or rinse it out or anything. Just fill it with water to 120 millimeter mark, milliliter mark. I'm gonna try to fill it up to there. It says don't overfill. Don't allow the water to get on the outside, which it's getting on the outside. But it said don't overflow it. Uh, it's about 120 milliliters. A little bit too full, but that's just about perfect. Close it up, seal it nice and tight. And now I've got a special uh, mark to put on the top of this, and then we're gonna go do the other spot. All right, now I'm back by where they are supposedly gonna build a house. It looks like there's a trailer here or something. And somebody's uh, makeshift septic water hookups for a trailer. So we're gonna do the same thing back here. We decided to test both locations because we didn't know if uh, it's hooked up to the same well or not. Anyway. Oh boy. Let's not ruin my uh, camera here. Ah! I'm gonna do that in the way. There's a lot more water pressure over here than there was at the barn, for sure. If it is the same pump, that distance is killing it somehow. It may not be. Nobody seems to know. Alright, I'm back with my sample jar. I'm going to turn this thing down to a low, steady flow. And open up my sterile container. Alright. Fill it up to 120 milliliters, just like before. Don't overfill it. It's perfect. Alright. Tight on there. I have this cover over it. We'll put this back. It's hot though. This is supposedly to keep it from having problems when it's cold. And the pump shut off. So that means something's wrong. It should have filled that bladder tank, but it didn't. And I just heard the pump shut off. Alright, so uh, something's wrong with the bladder tank, probably. <laughs> Look at that, a different day. Now you can definitely hear the pump running in here. The pressure tank seems to be a little low. These valves <laughs> don't do anything. Look at that. Zero. There should be some pressure even with that thing wide open. I hear the well running, so the well pump is good. Definitely can hear it running. You can just put your hand on this, you can feel it. You feel it. One thing I did mention is these samples do have to be refrigerated, so it's uh, in our cooler here to keep it cool. While we drive it back, it's a good hour drive, and we don't want to taint the sample by allowing it to grow too much. Uh, we're looking for a percentage of certain microbes, and they will grow in the right conditions. So being cold, below a certain temperature, I believe it's 4 Celsius or something like that, they won't grow. And that's what we're looking for.